Now, with autumn knocking at our doors and the trees soon changing into spectacular colours, it's the start also of mushroom season. A good place to find them is the new forest, but whilst once it was allowed to pick one and a half kilos for personal use, foraging fungi has now been forbidden for everyone without a permit. The reason is the rise in illegal commercial picking, which is putting the forest's unique ecosystem at risk. Our reporter Nicole Riz has more. It's a trail of destruction that's being left behind when groups of foragers come to the new forest to pick edible fungi for commercial use. The illegal activity has grown over the past few years, stripping out the forest's fungi-rich sites and endangering its fragile ecosystem. That's why the Forestry Commission has now decided to apply a no-picking rule. Early in the morning, particularly at weekends, um, groups of people are coming out and picking very, very early, early in the morning and they're taking way beyond what we're done with deem personal consumption. They're taking, you know, huge quantities away from the forest as much as they can find. They're stripping the whole area and they're not just taking something that's edible, sometimes they're just taking a huge quantity then coming back to um, a knowledgeable person in the group. So for example, our keepers have seen six or seven people out picking. They'll pick everything in sight, they'll come back to the car park or to the roadside where there's someone that does know what they're doing, and they'll look through the basket or look through the carrier bags, they'll chuck out everything that is not edible, and then they take away what's edible and what can be sold on. We're appealing people to exercise caution and not to pick. Although people might just take a hand for their own personal use, whilst they're out picking, they can be trampling on other fungi that are rare, even though they're heading for an edible fungi. They might actually find that they're kicking over and destroying the rare, the rare species. Fungi are a crucial part of the forest. They help wood to decay and are a source of food for wildlife. If they vanished, it would have a wider impact on the forest's unique ecosystem. If you pick up a fungi from the forest floor, it will be full of little tiny bugs and things. Now, they're, they're not very exciting, those little bugs, to some people, but actually they have a massive impact on the forest. So those bugs feed the next tier of species and the next tier until you work your way up to the kind of mammal species. And actually, they are all interconnected. There is, you, you know, you can't take something away from the forest without it having an impact on the rest of the ecosystem and that's certainly true you look around the new forest you'll see the connections it's very very um, obvious here that the different species support one another it's all part of that chain and that circle people can be prosecuted if found picking illegally but foraging is still allowed with a special permit now we do have a system here in the new forest where we permit people um, under an organized foray so that's a fungi foray with a foray leader that knows what they're doing, that one would hope is collecting small amounts in a sustainable way and is respectful of the, of the forest when they're visiting. And we've set their limit to 1.5 kilos per foray group. And once they're within our permission scheme, we are able to audit, audit the forays as well. So that's really important. And we would encourage more people that want to get involved to set up a foray to come on board with the permission scheme. And that's very, very different from the commercial um, pickers who are really trying to target them the most and make sure that that's stopped. Nicole Ries, for That's Solent.